Okay guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. And as I said yesterday, uh, we are bringing LR Super Saiyan for Vegeta at 55%. Level 10 links into Pure Saiyan's Extreme Super Battle Road. Again, just very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a breakdown for his kit. Uh, in case people have forgotten or who are unaware. So leader skill is 3 key and 180% to all stats for the Vegeta's family team. Secondary leader skill supports super types or super SDR types by 3 key and 130% to all stats. Technically the super attack affects the 12 key, massively raises attack and raises defense for one turn, colossal damage to the enemy. The 18 key massively raises attack and defense for one turn, mega colossal damage and then greatly lowers defense. The passive uh, is now attack and defense 140% at the start of turn. He gains an additional 10% attack and 20% defense at the start of each turn at a max of 30% attack and 60% defense. He then gains an additional 2 key per rainbow or STR keys he obtained and then an additional 1 key per type keys he obtained other than STR. He has a 30% chance of countering super attacks and then he nullifies enemy's actions for one turn when facing two more enemies when using the active skill or when performing a super attack at 24 key. So that's his kit again skill orbs I have a level three silver skill up giving him an additional 600 defense and a bronze five, five level five skill up giving him an additional 500 defense there so uh he's looking pretty good as for rotations i did want him next to ss4 go from vegeta they will appear on turn three if we even make it to turn three so we'll wait till then for now i think we'll target go 10 with the gods that is a full 24 key for vegeta so i think we'll also just go ahead and nullify go 10 like <laughs> Uh, I know we want to see how much damage it takes from Goten, but let's just do that. And then I'll have these pair attack trunks. Okay, so defense, I believe, is 137k. I actually forgot to show you guys, but that's what it should have been. So 137 multiplied by 2. Defense should be 274k. Remember, we don't really have Saiyan Raw or GT active, which is what we have active with the LR Super Saiyan 4. So uh, let's just see what happens here. Wow, okay. These guys actually done a lot of freaking damage to Goten. These guys just have like really low health. I thought these people saying uh, extreme super battle enemies have like so much health. But no, these guys, Goten's dead from a triple super attack. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you later, Goten. Actually, I wonder then, if we do finish Goten off here, which we we don't. Okay, what I was interested on in seeing was if we did finish Goten off there, would Vegeta still nullify? Because technically at the start of turn, there were two enemies, but... You know, by the time I'm super attacking, there would have been only one enemy. That would have been interesting, but it doesn't really matter. He's nullified, but we've killed him off anyway. How much does this do? No counter. I'm thinking 200? 190. That's actually pretty solid. Because, he, again, he's still building up, right? Once he's fully built up, Vegeta will have a total of 170% attack. And then 200% um, defense. I don't think he'll get that off in Super Battle Run, But for the most part, I think he will be getting to his second appearance. So you're looking at... 160% attack and then 180% defense. But with that being said, let's move on to turn three. Okay, guys, so we are back. We now have the rotation that I finally wanted SS4 Vegeta next to the LR Super Saiyan 4s. We're just going to give him the super attack in slot one. Um, I don't really think we get anything extra from. No, sorry, we do. We get prepare for battle from the gods floating, but I think we're going to finish um, Trunks off here anyway, right? Because we have to give you a super attack. And if they additional super, I feel like Trunks is dead. Actually, I'm going to risk it. We're going to risk it like this. Um, I think, yeah, we'll get the full 24 key this way. I don't think the LR Super Saiyan 4s in slot 1 will finish Trunks off here. So 176k defense. Um, let's give the guards the physical orbs. So 176. Oh god, that 5 million attack stat is getting me annoyed. Please don't double super. So 176 multiplied by 2 is 352k defense, which again is pretty good for a 55% unit. God damn it. Okay, we'll move on to the next turn. Okay, guys, so we have returned now on turn 2 of the second phase of this Pure Saiyans ESBR event. Now, you should put SS4 Vegeta in slot 2 in a scenario like this, just because we get PFB from the floating GT Vegeta, as well as the Super Saiyan 4s having an 8 guard, just make them the better pick for a slot 1 choice. But because it's a showcase... I'm going to pop a Sensu Bean and I'm going to put him into slot 1. Now, we did seal Gohan, so I'm not too worried in terms of taking damage from a super attack. And I will also nullify one of Gotenks' attacks here. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll have the Super Saiyan 4s finish Gohan off. And then we'll have GT Vegeta 
attack Gohan as well, but he'll most likely attack, most likely attack Gotenks anyway. So again, defense is 157k. We have Super Saiyan, GT, Saiyan Raw, Fierce Battle, and then Legendary Power active. So let us do this. And yeah, let's just see how much damage Vegeta takes here. So yeah, he's take, from Gohan, he's actually taking a lot more than I, I was expecting. I was more so expecting the 35 to 40k mark, but again, that's not too bad, not too big of an issue because again, you don't really want to put Vegeta into slot one. So we've nullified one of Gotenks' attacks here. And yeah, he's taking double digits, which is fine. Wow, yeah. I mean, yeah, from a super attack, maybe Vegeta's going to take like 300k plus, but the fact that 55% on his first appearance, he's able to just tank double digits. Yeah, these are Super Saiyan 4s are pretty crazy. And again, like these guys get to work, you know, guaranteed type effect here because we're able to grab the full 24 key. They're also guarding on this turn. Slot 3 will be fine because Vegeta has type advantage. Uh, yeah, um, this team is pretty bonkers. And by the way, Vegeta's outputting these types of numbers and this is not even a 200% leader skill Vegeta is very very impressive uh, for an LR EZA okay so here we are for I believe the final rotation of the video uh, we're gonna keep SS4 Vegeta in slot 2 because he, have, he has at that point every link active let's just give the LR Super Saiyan 4s their super attack we'll give SS4 Vegeta his super attack I'm gonna also pop this into make sure we're at full health now we could nullify uh, Goku Jr's attacks but again I want to try and see if we can have Vegeta take a super attack so I'm gonna have instead SS4 Vegeta nullify one of Vegeta Jr's super, uh, say super attacks but attacks so Vegeta in slot 3 can tank a bit better and God we're able to get a super attack for him we're gonna but yeah we'll, we'll uh, attack Goku Jr with super Vegeta so we currently have every link active now before this rotation for the most part we were just having Super Saiyan, Saiyan Raw, GT Fierce Battle and then Legendary Power Active, which was giving SS4 Vegeta 2 key, 85% attack and then 20% defense. But because we now get PFB, Prepare for Battle, and then Saiyan Pride, activated from the floating Super Vegeta, we're getting what? A total of 4 key. Um, is that 110% attack? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double check that real quickly. Let me let me get the calculator out and uh, let's just calculate this because I just I want to make sure that I'm like calculating that correctly. So Super Saiyan gives 15% attack. Saiyan Roar is 25. Prepare for Battle is 5%. Um, Saiyan Pride is 20%. GT is another 10%. We then have Fierce Battle giving 20. And then Legendary Power giving 15. Yeah, 110% attack. So we're getting 110% attack, 4 key, and then. 25% defense through links, which is absolutely crazy. So let's just see how this turn plays out. Defense is 164k, the highest, the highest it's been uh, throughout this run. So post is 18 key, Vegeta should be at 328k defense, enough to take double digits from normal attacks. But again, I don't know how much damage you take from a super attack. Hopefully these guys can get an additional super attack off. Okay, no, that's fine. They should be fine. Uh, I think, yeah, okay, no super attacks from anyone there. So 6.3, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's a pretty crazy attack stand. A pretty, I'd say, easy rotation to proc in something like Pure Saiyan's Extreme Subaru. Yeah, double digits. Okay, and Super Vegeta will now stun Goku Jr. Uh, if Super Vegeta takes a super, we're, we are dead, but I think I'm satisfied with SS4 Vegeta's performance in this video. Let's see, do we die? Okay, thank you, Vegeta Jr. So... That'll be the end of the video, guys. I know Vegeta did not take a super attack, um, but let, let's be honest. He will probably take 400k, 300k from a super attack. Again, his defense is at a very similar level to LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's, and we did see how much damage he was taking in Pure Saiyan's Extreme Super Battle from a super attack. But nonetheless, I was very, very happy with SS4 Vegeta's performance overall. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you'd like me to take SS4 Vegeta at 55% level 10 links into any other event what i may just do guys is i may just hop in i'll try to bring a scouter item i'll have ss4 vegeta take a super attack and let's just see how much damage he takes but with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace